partner with them. We're not there doing our own thing. We're there partnering and training. In a video and, and game. And, 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 and... Oh, thank God it's in a video game. Please, it's on more 90 day. I need to, I need to content. I need content to watch while I'm in prison. Rudy G image from iCloud via iPhone, iPhone 6 plus. <laughs> so dumb. Okay, dude. Okay, dude. All right. Random Hasanabi post. Hasanabi. Hassan. Uh, Hassanabai. Oh, Jesus Christ. You can be fucking straight and paint your nails black. Come on, guys. Let's break the boundaries of heteronormativity, okay? Chatter's making essays after Hassan says one thing they disagree with. Hassan stunlocked. Continuing the video. Pausing five seconds later. Getting stunlocked again. Here it comes. Live look at Azan's next debate, post-feminization. Uh, I'm in touch with my feminine side. I think that's okay. Bless you. Mm. Please fix that and go back to the natural mm. color of your nails. Why? Please. You're not a cat! <laughs> Christianity hotline official? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Listen, motherfucker, I'm not going... Uh, I'm not going feline Friday. We said femboy Fridays, okay? Hassana, Montana. Chat by day, card collector by night. Chat by day, card collector by night? What the fuck? I, it was a joke. I don't actually have a Black Lotus chat. I spent 4 20, 69 hours designing Azan's next cut. Okay, good one. Don't do it, Asan, please. Whatever you do, don't go online pianist.com slash virtual piano and type bj comma l what okay i won't do it easy peasy dreaming of you <laughs> that wasn't me by the way me a young trans girl tired of all the transphobia wait there's no audio on this my father figure is on destroying transfers of facts and logic. Is on dead naming some Republican. Okay, last part is a stupid joke. I'm grateful for what you're doing, so please don't get stun locked. Okay, Azan. Azan? Oh, sorry. Oh, no. I'm sorry. I said Bruce Jenner, when talking about what dead naming is, to describe to people what dead naming is. Okay, well, you literally did that. In the video. But I guess that's the joke. How is that going to scare you motherfuckers? Like you should be used to that by now. If you're going to jump up. When you hear me yell like that. You're not used to me. You're not used to these broadcasts. Alright boys here it is. Here it is boys. Here it is boys. Asuelo and Kalani. Kalani's age 30. From Rancho Santa, Margarita, California. Asuelu is from Afega, Samoa. Asuelu put a baby inside of Kalani. Well, just kidding. He put two babies inside of Kalani. Uh, after the first baby and uh, showcasing that he's not necessarily the greatest father. Uh, Asuelu has now decided, you know, how to fix the situation. Well, never wear a condom. Never pull out. And uh, immediately put a second baby inside of Kalani. My girlfriend got mad at me for watching 90 Day Reacts, so I missed the last half. Why would your girlfriend get mad at you for watching 90 Day Reacts, dude? What is this? So, what's your favorite thing about being Oliver's dad? Because he's white and his mom's from America. <laughs> That's concerning to me. And I have to... I mean, he just straight up self-reported. I mean, it literally, it, it, it literally doesn't matter. He just straight up, Hassan being objectivized, shaking my head. Booba.tv, React Lord Pagare. Hell yes, we fucking made it, boys. We made it! We made it to Booba.tv. Holy shit, I'm a fucking prophet. I came as soon as you starting 90 Fiance. Let's go. Well, I did tweet about it, so. Is this the right epi, though? Asuelo and I have been through so much already. Everything with my family and his struggle.
22 days left. Is this the right episode? With Oliver know. and now being pregnant. On life support for Subnautica? Dude, I, after this, yeah. I have to eat. Again. So you wanted Almond Joy? Mm-hmm. Perfect. I didn't want to have a baby for another couple of years. And knowing that Oswella was so excited. Wait, let me, let me play. We saw this one, right? Did we see this one? No, I think you motherfuckers saw this. I don't remember this. No, 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 no. We did not see this. There, we did not see this. This was the last episode we watched where they the go to the fucking he, baby factory. They, they go to the baby store and then they reveal to the mom. Yeah. Yeah, we did not see that episode. We saw this. They go to the baby store and the baby store is like, oops, you have a second baby now. And then they go to the mommy and they tell mommy like, oh, we have a baby now. And that's where we left it off. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's the one we left on episode 19 is Love correct. You, All right, let's do it. 22 days, the wedding boys. Yes, the baby store. Oswego and I have been through okay, so much I gotta start already. cooking. I'm Everything back. with my family and his struggles with Oliver and now being pregnant again. So you wanted Almond Joy? Mm -hmm. I didn't want to have a baby for another couple of years. And knowing that Oswego was so excited about me being pregnant, I'm just really confused right now. And honestly, the last thing on my mind right now is getting married. I'm happy that Kalani is pregnant, but I wish that she happy too. Can you hold him so I can sit down? I'm worried she doesn't want to get married anymore. I came to America to be with Kalani and my son. And I feel worried and concerned Kalani's thing. I feel happy because she's pregnant, because I want to marry her or get a green card. I feel like we need to talk about everything that's been going on. So now it's gonna be not, I don't know how it's gonna be fix this one. I feel like we had a conversation about waiting to have a baby and being more careful. I just want to make another baby. But I feel like in a marriage and in a relationship, it's important for both people to agree on things and both people to talk about things. Does that make sense? It 100% makes sense. Are you, are you still want to marry me? I had all of my doubts with marrying you, and, and then you got me pregnant. I, I'm not came here for just make another baby and go away. So I think that we work together and move forward for the better for our life, and we work as a team. I wasn't really sure. And now I feel like we have a lot of new problems now, but every couple and family has problems. And I still am willing to work through them and get married. I'm feel happy that you still want to marry me, so no more problems come to our family. Now that he's had time to process my feelings and what I told him, he does understand where I'm coming from. I feel like Oswalu came here to actually take care of our son and to be with me. I am feeling better about the pregnancy now, but I'm trying to kind of shift gears because I am getting married really fast and I feel like I need to kind of focus on that right now. Bro. I'm going to go that point. Bro, Asuelo is so fucking perpetually clueless, dude. I can't believe it took him this long to be like, I don't know if you want to get married. Seems like you kind of don't feel happy about the second baby. Like, what do you... She was literally, like, on the verge of fucking tears when she found out. Kind of not the reaction that you normally give if you're excited, okay? Also, I was thinking about this, but, like, now that we know that his, uh, now that we know that her brother literally watches and is like a fan, fan enough to like fucking find the VODs. Can you imagine if one of you guys in the chat 
like was tangentially related to the show and then you just fucking sit through me picking apart your entire family i feel like you would like just remember that just keep that in your mind and we say we both say i do i do and spend our happy life ever after i love oswalu i I feel like he is the person I've wanted to be with since I've known him, and I do want to marry him. I just don't want to give my family any other reason to doubt Oswalu, so I'm not going to tell my family about being pregnant, but I told my sister that I would be more open with her and tell her things when they happen, and now I feel like I'm not doing that. And I'm afraid that she's just going to react really badly about it all. That's a long drive. The baby did better this time, yeah? Mm. Oswalu and I just arrived back in California from Utah for our wedding. I decided to have my wedding in California because that's where most of my family lives and that's my home. It's been a pretty rough ride getting here and the whole surprise pregnancy didn't really make it any easier. I feel like we had a conversation about waiting to have a baby and being more careful. I'm not giving me a for just make another baby and go Please away. Please give my money to the gen. Are you, are you, are you still want to marry me? Every couple and family has problems and still want to pursue the wedding and get married. I'm glad that we finally decided to get married, but it's taken the whole 90 days to decide that. Now there's a bunch of last minute things that we have to figure out while we stay at an Airbnb until our wedding. Wow. It's very beautiful. I like the colors. You wanna sit for a little bit? Yeah. It's a nice TV. You wanna call me mama? Oh my goodness. So the plan for the wedding is that it will be on a boat but since I did procrastinate so much with not knowing about wanting to get married, I have like a couple days to get everything done for my wedding. Oswalu doesn't have clothes. Oliver doesn't have clothes. Like we have nothing put together for the wedding. What do you feel, baby? Are you ready for our wedding? There's only two days left. I don't know. I know I want to marry you. I feel happy to do that, but I just feel stressed out at this point. We didn't tell your family about you pregnant before the wedding? I don't want to. I don't think it's a good idea. I feel like if my family finds out that I'm pregnant before we get married, that they're going to think that you like got me pregnant on purpose so that I would have to marry you or something like that. Kalani's mom knows about the pregnancy but I'm worried about how the rest of the family react. They never like me and I'm nervous. I don't know why he's so casual with like the whole, like does he not realize that people suspect that he wants a green card and that's why he's like doing this? He just, I've never seen, uh, listen, I'm a bit of a fucking pro. I am a bit of a fucking pro at 90 fiance okay i i watched plenty of these episodes to know i had to call myself a pro usually people don't admit that as a matter of fact when stressed on that they will literally go against like no 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 that's not true because he just says, they it. think i do this because i want to stay here in america i just want like your family to think that i'm here for you because i love you and my son that's the only thing i'm here in the state I know. I do love Oswalu, and I'm excited about the wedding, but I am worried about telling the rest of my family about me being pregnant. 
because I just feel like it'll ruin the wedding, but it doesn't feel right. Keeping secrets from them, so I don't know whether or not I should tell my family. It's the day before my wedding. I'm back in California and I just have this insanely long list of things that I need to do and today I'm getting my nails done with my mom and my sister before my bachelorette party tonight. Hello. Hi. Good, how are you? Good, it's for the party of three, yes. Kalani. Okay, no problem, I can take Hello, your Hello guys. Hi. Hi. Hey, baby. Hey. Hey. Doing hey. wedding hey. prep hey. stuff hey. with hey. my mom hey. knowing hey. I'm hey. pregnant, hey. my hey. sister hey. not hey. knowing. There's no way the mom has not told the sister. I mean, uh, the mom has not told the entire family. There is no allegiance to the Asuelo Kalani coalition from the mom's side. Okay? That's all I'm saying. It just feels weird. I just, I don't really feel right. Thank you. Oh, no. Oh, this one's for so the fucking freaks. The real freaks in the are you chat. Stop. Um, I'm nervous because I don't have my stuff. I'm not like nervous to get married. Well, you have to admit the last time when I was in Utah, it was a little weird and you guys did get in a fight and yeah. Also one fight equals marriage is off by the way. Sometimes you don't like my families. I've done lots for your family, and I even went against what my dad said. My dad didn't want me to go to Samoa with the baby because he was worried. At this point, I would like for my sister to not to feel like she has to marry him because from what I saw at brunch, I wouldn't want her to marry that. Yeah, that's how it works, dude. Oh shit, I saw them have like a like a hiccup, so. Obviously every couple has fights and stuff, but I feel like we've talked through a lot of things. You know, what his brother said was fucking I felt gnarly. Like it was a mistake bringing him here just because I didn't know who he was or what he was doing. And now I feel like I have the old him semi back. And I'm like, okay, yeah, that's who I want to get married what to. What is that, dude? Well, I'm glad you feel better about everything. I'm uncomfortable, like, being around my sister without her knowing that I'm pregnant just because I feel like I am keeping something from her because I am. So it just feels, like, off. I don't, like, I feel off. Okay. The entire reason why the sister fucking hates Asuelo from the jump is literally predicated on a lie. A lie that Kalani told her that Asuelo cheated on her. Okay? So... Having said that, for, for Kalani to now be like, oh my God, I can't believe I'm keeping a lie from my sister. Like, well, don't worry. You got, you're experienced in this respect. So this is less of a lie than the other lie you told. At least this is an omission. You know what I'm saying? Whereas the other one was like, lol, I can't believe how into this you are. Dude, me and this community, we love 90 Day Fiance. This is a, first of all, this is a, damning insightful political analysis on the american immigration system okay it's a damning insightful analysis it's a damning insightful critique on um misogyny misogynoir homophobia racism foreign politic uh foreign policy and how it and how it pertains to you know how american foreign policy is shaped like samoan policy internalized racism I mean, I joke, but like we do actually talk about all that. It's educational. I think it's going to be a fun day. I can't wait to see you and him and baby all dressed up. Well, tonight. It's literally the learning channel, bitch. Going out. <laughs> do you know where we're going or what we're doing yet? We're learning. Y'all see. Are you going to have a beverage tonight? Um. Oh it's shit! It's awkward for me when Kalini Kick, starts she talking fucking, about she pregnant drinking at the bachelorette party. Me already knowing that 
Kalani's pregnant. I would hate for Kalini to figure out on her own that Kalani's pregnant. I'm worried that she might be really upset and maybe try to stop the wedding because it's not a lot of time for her to process that her sister's pregnant again. I know that you're breastfeeding, but... Whatever. Tonight, I'm throwing my sister a bachelorette party. Imagine being mad that your fucking breastfeeding sister doesn't want to drink at her bachelorette party. Also, how the fuck? How the fuck does she have the power to stop a wedding from happening because she doesn't feel comfortable with the new information that she just found out? That's just crazy. And we're going to have some fun. She's not going to drink, apparently, but I will for the both of us. <laughs> I feel like my sister could be a little more excited. She seems almost numb. Like, she doesn't seem, like, overly happy or anything. And I would just wish that I saw that in her because I want her to be excited. It's all set. You like it? Yes, I love it. Thank you so much. Thanks. So I'm done. Love you. Bye. See you tomorrow. You. See you tonight. See you in a little bit. Okay. Was it awkward for you when she kept talking about drinking? Yeah. I feel like I'm lying because I am. Do you think you're just going to tell her? Before or do you, so I feel that like it's because not. she was so mad before with me not telling her a lot of things about Oswalu that lying about something else like this is just one more thing for her to like be mad at me and be mad at him about because it's just this big secret that she's not a part of. It's so like I don't want to just keep dodging it. I would rather address it, but then like the other part of me is just scared. Like, what if she finds out and it's like, oh, I don't even want to go to the wedding. Right. Or maybe she'll try to stop it, or maybe she'll try to convince me not to do it. It's a crapshoot. Yeah. I feel kind of nervous, but telling my sister that I'm pregnant the day of the wedding is not an option, so my bachelorette party is really the only chance I have to tell her. I just... I don't want to upset her. I can't believe I've been subbed to this limbo for a year. Thank you for letting me be a part of this awesome community has. I'm at my bachelorette party. I'm going to meet my sister and a couple of my friends. Hi, Oswalu's back at the Airbnb. Oliver is with my mom. I would love to be drinking right now, but I can't. This feels really weird. Hey, look, oh, yeah. it's gonna flop off your head. No. <laughs> Cheers to my beautiful sister. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Bachelorette night. Oh, drinking a Shirley oh, Temple. Oh, <laughs> Thank you guys. for inviting us. Of course. So give us the details. What's the hottest thing about him? Yeah, yes. No. Yes. you're the mic. <laughs> the hottest thing. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> the, <laughs> the hottest thing about Oswello <laughs> is, um. Oh shit. He's got a fat Damn, one. Damn, you have to think about it. <laughs> <laughs> Just say it. We're all adults. Some smash has. His penis. <laughs> <laughs> like, what else would be sexy? Lots of things, you weirdo. <laughs> I'm so excited to see my friends that I haven't seen in a while, but I... Let me tell you something, okay? My man's got a fucking hog, dude. Listen, we already knew that shit worked. Okay? One year we already knew it worked. It worked sad. too good. It worked too fucking good. He's just like... Like I said, he's he's impregnating motherfuckers like a like a mushroom. He's just through spores and shit. I feel like got a big one. there's just this looming weirdness because I have to tell my sister I'm pregnant at some point. Shots, 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 shots. Are you okay? <laughs> 
Um, I am glad you all came here. I love all of y'all, and I'm so glad to see you here. But I kind of just want to steal my sister away for a second and have a little moment with her. Oh, no! Before we move on and party. It's OK. We can all have our own moment here. <laughs> Bye. My sister is going to be pissed when she finds out that I'm pregnant. Worst case scenario, she like storms out and then doesn't want to go to my wedding. I just hope she doesn't cry. Well, I'm having so much fun. Thanks for all the decorations. You're welcome. Wait, is she drinking? I don't even know how to say it. But say America okay. deserve. I feel bad about how things have been going. Nine months for nine. I feel like when we had a conversation with Oswalo and like we came to the agreement that we would be honest with each other uh, and like move forward from that point, I have been keeping something from you. Uh... I don't get why it's so like I don't get why like she's dancing on on eggshells around her on this because it's like it's your fucking it's your pussy it's your baby it's your husband it's your wedding like it doesn't make any sense like what's she gonna do is she, she gonna go in there and pull it out like, nope, you gotta yeet the fetus, dude. Fuck that. Get an abortion, forehead. Okay. I feel bad about how things have been going. I feel like when we had a conversation with Oswalo and, like, we came to the agreement that we would be honest with each other uh, and like move forward from that point. I have been keeping something from you. Oh, you're bringing me out. Uh, it's important. I'm pregnant. Oh! No, you're not. You are. Like you promised. Why? Bro, what the fuck? Chad, it's my birthday. I love everyone here. <laughs> it's so Almost funny because, like, watching you time really on the other hand, you have Osuelo, who's just, like, head above the clouds, like, completely oblivious to, like, everything that's going on. He's like, uh, maybe they don't like baby. New baby? I don't know. Meanwhile, she's like, oh my god, you just fucking stabbed me in the heart with a spear. Why would you do this? I feel like I know it's like disappointing news and like horrible timing right now, but I just feel like I feel like either way, if I told you it was bad, like I wanted to wait until after three. The person who said that was a racist impression. I can't even do his accent. I'm trying to do an accent. It's not his accent because I can't do it. I've never heard the Samoan accent before. The wedding, but then I just felt like I was lying to you and that it was too much. And I just wanted to be honest with you. I don't want to keep anything from you anymore. I'm sorry, sis. I have something to tell you. America <laughs> I 
just told my sister that I'm pregnant and I thought that it would, I knew she would probably be mad, but I was hoping she would just be mad and not be upset the way she is. And now she's crying and I feel like it just ruined everything again. <sighs> okay, dude. She low key loves being the center of attention, dude. She's like, oh, <clears throat> you're having a second child? And you're about to get married? Well, have you considered how this makes me feel? It's just straight up. Like, it's not your pussy, dude. It's not your ovaries. Chill. Ugh. Like you're a grown ass woman. And then this happens. When the baby is seven months old and Oswalu can't work. I thought it was really stupid too. Yeah, and I bet, I bet he's stoked. He doesn't understand the concept of like, hi, we have to pay for a baby. Okay, facts. One thing that Oswello definitely doesn't realize is that having a child in an American hospital, just having the child alone, before you let it out into the wild, is around $50,000. <clears throat> yeah. So that's definitely not, you know, that's not a, that's not an inexpensive thing to do. Yeah, America is a really fucked country. You pay thirty nine dollars just to do skin on skin contact with the baby after the baby's born. Seven months of giving you money. Oh, it's always something. It costs thirty nine dollars for for the parent. To literally do skin on skin contact after the baby's born. Are you okay? Whatever, I just like don't want. Yo, like ultimately, you can be pissed here. You can be like worried about your sister, but you're fucking crazy if you're like running around, like hugging other girls at the bachelorette party. I'm sorry, this is just straight up. Poggies. Straight up, like you haven't considered me in this equation. You know, you, you, you having a second baby and all, it's expensive, but like, actually it hurts my feelings and that's the worst offense type beat. Like this is not <laughs> how it's supposed to be. I don't get it. I don't get it. Just having this happen, like the day before, I just... Wait, doesn't she have I an OnlyFans? Is that true that she has an OnlyFans? I feel like maybe he did do it to tie her down. So... So if she has a, if she has a only, like, how, how are they Mormon? Like, I, that I, that I don't understand. Like, link or fake? Bro, yeah, yeah, just link an OnlyFans. Look at the track. What are you, stupid? Don't fucking do that. Okay, you will get banned. Um, by the way, uh, just because I defend sex worker rights doesn't mean that, you know, uh, it doesn't mean that I think, like, every time a sex worker does something, it's like, Oh, she doesn't post nude stuff? Okay. Well, regardless, bro, how are you going to explain to OnlyFans to your Mormon-ass parents? Oh my God, C-Mac. Was that C-Mac that said she doesn't post nude stuff? C-Mac, what do you have, like, OnlyFans Turbo or some shit? No paywalls for this guy, bro. He has, like, uh, he, he has, like, the fucking God key, you know? The, the admin, admin powers on OnlyFans. He can look at everyone's profile, easy. That, weirdly enough, is actually a better explanation that is, is, that's just a better explanation than the fact that, like, he literally goes and purchases every person's OnlyFans that we see on stream. Not that supporting sex work is a bad thing, obviously it's a good I thing, but goddamn, bro, if money. you're literally fucking purchasing your addict, like...
Bro, I saw it on her Insta. Okay. Oh, sure, dude. Yeah. Yeah, maybe that's why you think she doesn't post any nudes because you only saw her Insta. Her description says no nudes. Okay, well, regardless, I still don't understand how the fuck her uh, dad is Mormon if she has a fucking OnlyFans, you know? Paying for non nudes, Bepega. I just don't understand. Like, I, I, I want to understand the dynamic in the family a little bit. Like, are they actually fucking Mormon or did I just like kind of make that up and go along with it? Are they like old school Mormon? Are they sex worker positive Mormons? That's like a new retcon part of the religion or some shit, you know? Like they fucking eliminated, like they patch noted the fucking racism update. Or they nerfed racism. So they just like, maybe they did the same thing with sex workers. I fucking doubt it though. I know they nerfed caffeine too. She does have nudes. Ask me how I know. Down. And I just don't feel like her marriage to Asuelu is the best for her. She just like dropped a bomb on me, so. Yeah. Do you want to go to the bathroom? Yeah. Yeah, we really need to talk about it. Yeah, let me ruin my fucking sister's bachelorette party. I swear. I feel like every time my sister like starts kind of accepting Oswellu or accepting our relationship, then something else happens to make her either dislike him or just dislike our relationship. You want to sit? Sure. <clears throat> Why are you putting pasta salad into a tortilla with chicken? Why do you think that's pasta salad? It's not pasta salad. There's no pasta in that salad. I'm sorry for telling you like this and making you upset. I feel like I just... Do motherfuckers backseat my eating, dude. Like, roleplay is one thing. Backseat streaming is one thing. Dude's really out here like, dude, you're eating it wrong. Like, I'm going to backseat the way you eat. That's like 500 calories and tortillas alone. That's not true. This is a mission carb balance tortilla. And it's only 70 calories per tortilla. It's very good. It's actually pretty fucking soft, too. I don't know why. They're really good. Accepted the idea of you guys getting married and being together. And then this. It's just one thing after another. I know that this is a stupid decision and a stupid time. But I do love him, do want to marry him. And I'm sorry that your feelings are hurt and you're upset. But I'm hoping that tomorrow, maybe after we both sleep and like kind of process things a little more that hopefully we can just enjoy the day tomorrow and be happy. I don't know, whatever. Honestly, I don't even want to see Oswalu tomorrow. I will remind her that obviously- She doesn't want to see Oswalu tomorrow. But you, Chatter, might not want to see the ad in the next 60 seconds when I run it. Because at the top of the hour, I run a 60-second ad break. But if you're wondering how you will eliminate the need to see ads at the top of every hour when there's an ad break, all you need to do is subscribe. You can do it for $5, or you can do it for free by connecting your Amazon Prime account to your Twitch account. <laughs> This way, you'll get one free Prime subscription a month. Use it on your... <laughs> use it on your favorite broadcaster. Or you can use it on me. Obviously, like, it's never too late to back out. You can always not marry him. No. <laughs> 
Just don't marry him, forehead. Over. Today, I'm gonna marry to Kalani, and I can't. I literally forgot to run the ad until just now. Hassel, thank you for today's stream, LMFAO. It's had everything looking forward to Subnautica has re has bog. Wait to say I do to my future wife. Yes, I do. Mm. So, how was the party last night, my love? The first part was really nice. It was just getting to see my friends I haven't seen in a while. Wow. It's the morning of my wedding. I feel excited. I do finally feel like a bride. But last night, I told my sister that I was pregnant, and she was pissed. I'm pregnant. My man tweeted, happy to get out of Utah. <laughs> I felt like I should tell my sister that I was pregnant because what? I was afraid that everyone would keep offering me drinks. And then like right when I said I'm pregnant, she started crying like right away. She crying because Happy? She's mad or she surprised or she's crying, she upset. I think it was probably a combination of all of those things. I think Colini will be mad to me because she thinks I do this because I want to be here in America. And now I'm worried about Colini tells Kalani that she shouldn't marry me. Bro, this guy, <laughs> it's like, it's like we're on season six, episode 24 and Asuelu is on season six, episode four. Like we, he's just only now figuring out that like people don't like him, which sucks. Wild. My mom's about to pick up me and Oliver. We're going to drive to the hotel, get ready with my sister, and then meet Oswalu at the boat for the wedding. Come on. I mean, here are some things that he can do to fix the situation. Not be so revealing about his true intentions. Not consistently At telling Hussain, people you that you're interested in a green card or American citizenship. Love you, Hussein and chat X. Pulling out and praying using has a pog, condom, has pog, has pog, has pog, has pog. even if it, even though it is in Osuelo's words for sluts. What if those are not his intentions? If those are not his intentions, then he should never bring it up. Sorry, it's fine. Let me hear you. I want to go. Yeah. I just need to because he's surrounded by sharks. Yes, okay, bye, I love you. Bye, I love you, my sweet bye. I love you too. I feel a little anxious to see my sister today. I don't really know how it's going to go. And I hope that telling my sister I was pregnant yesterday won't ruin- If only Asuela watched some Darman videos. This way, he would know that the only way to get back is to get even. And the only way to get even is by making money. He could learn how to cook eggs. Gonna make a sandwich. And become chef. Ruin my wedding today. Cook Hi, one egg. You're gonna sit here in this chair, and then I'm sitting on the bed. Okay. Let's go see Papa. Can you hold all that? Oh my gosh! Okay. You want some champagne? Yeah. Let's First do it. First ever sub on Twitch and running three months strong. No, now it's weird. <laughs> Why is it weird? 
because you're pregnant? You know my dad. Okay. Well, I'm not sure. Okay. We are talking about that. Only my sister. And 13 follow me for more jammies. Yeah, I figured he did not. When What's are you going to a million? Certainly not today. Bro, she is not drinking, right? Bro, that's how you get like, that's how you get Republicans, dude. Don't do that, dude. Not good, boys. You're about to have a second racist baby on top of the first one. That's how you get a racist baby, dude. 11 months, thanks for all that you do for us, Hassel. All I'm going to say, yeah, fetal alcohol syndrome. Listen, you would not have. <laughs> my dad doesn't know that I'm pregnant. And if he found out that I was pregnant on my wedding day, he would try to stop the wedding. I just don't want to give him any other reason to doubt Oswalu. I want him to just kind of accept him today. And I feel like them knowing about the pregnancy would just kind of make them question his motives again. So how I are missed you a bunch of the reacts. Why is the Not baby racist? It's start. just a meme. The baby was crying in Oswalu's hands and the dad is like super racist, even though he's Samoan. He hates Samoans. So the baby was crying in Oswalu's hands and he literally was like, maybe the baby is racist. Or he said something like, maybe it's because I'm brown. Now, after last night, do you feel like a little bit better having... Bro, imagine this baby being this baby, being born, going to college, and then they unearthed this footage from the learning channel and literally everyone did not want you. Like everyone. Your mom, your dad... Well, your dad wanted you, actually. That's the only one. Spit on me. Like, the... Oh, fuck. Okay, Rocket Scientist 93. Wait, why did you say canceled? Even the streamer watching 90 Day Fiance didn't want him? Yeah, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, abort it. Slept. Like sleeping wasn't gonna make it go away. I mean, like just a little less upset. Mm. I don't know. How do you think it'll be for you seeing Oswalu today? I don't know. I'm not too stoked about it. I thought that my sister would be more open to the idea of me and Oswalu being married before the end of the 90 days. But I'm hoping that at some point, Oswalu and my sister will not just be able to tolerate each other, but like actually like each other and actually have a nope. relationship. I just wanted to make sure that we were. Okay, first of all, uh, Sharon, thank you it's not Oswalu. Oswalu is so as nice as that it's like cartoonish, okay? Hassle. It's literally not him. He's never done anything wrong. It's a one-sided hatred. I don't know why she doesn't uh, admit that or or uh, recognize that. It's kind of fucked up. We're both okay, I know. You're probably still upset, but I just want us for today to be happy. Yeah, well, I do feel like it might be... I don't know, it's just going to be weird. I mean, he did get her pregnant again. Yeah, well, it's, he's got fucking good sperm. He's got I good I know teeth. my sister isn't completely on board with my wedding. And I'm worried about her telling my dad or my brother about my pregnancy. So I just hope that no one tries to stop my wedding. He one tapped her, bro. What do you want? He doesn't miss, dude. Maybe they should use birth... Today is the day we're gonna marry in the boat, and I feel very excited and nervous. Nick was supposed to get ready with me today, but he's not here yet. I don't know how to put this. I never wear, what do you call this? Suspenders. I never wear suspenders before. 
I wish there are more days than the 90 days. So Kalani's family will accept me to be a part of their family. But now she's pregnant and I'm worried. If Kalani's dad find out that she's pregnant before the wedding, I think he will stop the wedding. So I hope everyone keeps secret about Kalani pregnant today. Asolo. Hey. Hey. You excited? Yes. <laughs> Good. Nick don't know that Kalani is pregnant. So hopefully I don't accidentally tell oh, something no. to Nick. Oh no. Oh, he's gonna do it, 100%. It's like an hour before the wedding. I'm feeling a little stressed out just because all of these bad thoughts start coming into my head, like worst case scenario. What if my dad finds out and objects at my wedding? So I just hope that everything will be fine. Hey, wait, can you grab my dress? I'm ready. Yeah. Here. Can you help? Yeah. Seeing myself, this is the first time I'm starting to feel excited about getting married. And really sure about my decision, and I'm just ready to say I do to Oswelu. Let's Yay. see you. Put your hair forward. Put your hair forward. Did you know that Kalini's net worth differs half a million dollars from you? She's at one million. How is my net worth? At 500,000. Like, how did you, like, how'd you come up with that number? People, I probably got friends' attention. It's one time. What is this? How much money how Simon makes on Twitch net worth? <laughs> Bro, this article this literally bump, calls bump, me bump, Parker, bump, motherfucker. Bump. Parker was born in New Brunswick, dude. I'm glad that you guys uh, found the truth. How do you feel? <laughs> <laughs> like a bride. Oh my gosh. This is weird. Yeah. Let's go. <gasps> Let's do this. Well, also, it was picked up. Well, I'm arriving in the boat, and I think I'm very surprised. This is a big, big boat I see. It's like Titanic. This one, it's really big. Woo! But I'm nervous to be on the boat. With Kalani's dad, I feel like trying my best to be comfortable and keep a secret about Kalani pregnant today. Thank you. I'm nervous to see my dad because I'm so scared for him to find out that I'm pregnant. <laughs> it's too windy, my hair. So what happens if he finds out? Like, they're on a boat. He can't even run away. You know what I'm saying? Parents, like, everywhere. Hello. Daddy. You hey. look so handsome, handsome. I was yesterday. Yes. Her bachelorette. Yeah. Deal? This one. The ceremony is almost about to start. And I feel nervous that something would go wrong. Even though the timing with having the baby right now isn't really something I wanted. I love Oswalu and I- I'm literally, okay. I've been looking at what he's wearing 
and trying to comprehend what this is. Like from the moment I saw it, that's what I was trying to figure out. Okay. And I have no idea what's going on there. Like I, it, it's so unique that like, I can't even make fun of it. He, it's like Shrek, but also like Han Solo. It's like, is he ready to do? Like, why didn't he dress up? I just don't understand. Like, if you're going to... He wore a vest. Didn't... Didn't button it up. But like a regular white tee? I don't know. And I want to marry him. And I'm just hoping that my family can understand that. And support me because it's my wedding day. If I can understand the drip, I can make fun of it. I I, I can't oh, even do boy. it. Wait, if it's a boat, wait. They're doing a wedding on a boat, but the fucking boat's not moving. What's the point? It's the same as doing the wedding on the land then. Why do you do the wedding on the boat if it's docked? Aesthetics, pictures. That makes no sense. When I see Kalani's dress, oh my goodness, it's like my heart is melted. I feel like very excited moments of my life. Wow. You look beautiful. Thank you. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. We are gathered here today to sanctify the union between Asuelu and Kalani. And we gather here to rejoice in the new life they now undertake together. If anyone objects to this union, please speak now. Listen, maybe that... Bro, maybe that's why the boat's not moving, because the captain is too busy fucking marrying fools, you know? It's like, hey, captain, why don't you move the boat? What the fuck are you doing up here marrying motherfuckers? Like, your job is literally to be the captain. Thank you, warm Gatorade, for the thank you for subs. If anyone objects to this union, please speak now. And I said, if anybody had an objection, I felt my legs wanting to stand, but I did not. At this point, she seems pretty sure. By the way, our dude is literally wearing a t-shirt to the wedding. He was just like, fuck it, YOLO, the boat's not even moving. Which is why I understand it. I mean, listen, if it was a boat that was moving, then that requires you to wear a button-up shirt at least. But if you're on a boat and it's not even moving, then, you know, t-shirt suffices. Pretty sure of it now, and so I'm happy for her. Do you, Asuelu, take Kalani to be your wife in sickness and in health, together, for richer or for poorer, forsaking all others in all your days together? I do. Do you, Kalani, take Asuelu to be your husband, to love and to comfort, to honor and keep? I do. 
Please place the ring on a swayless finger and repeat after me. With this ring. With this ring. I thee wed. I thee wed.